Um, it's supposed to be lighter, mm -hmm. um, and I'm not sure if they know exactly what the breeze is going to do because the old weather guy said five to ten out of the west be coming in the northwest. That doesn't that doesn't sound so good. Mm -hmm. We got some nice fog going on here now. We're going to get our coffee out. We'll probably do some talking, and that'll be it. But we'll. But today's another day. Yesterday we were we were lucky. We'll see how it goes. Tell us about today. What do you expect? Uh, what do you see? It's patchy fog this morning until maybe around 10. And then it should begin to clear. The winds will be light from the west-southwest or, yeah, west-southwest probably. Maybe an eight-ish, okay, eight so knots. What's your guess as to timing for... I don't make guesses like that because <laughs> uh, it, we live in St. Pete. <laughs> Hi, this is Craig Smith. Uh, and today is our Tuesday update from Thistle Midwinters East 2007. Uh, today was a rather unique day. We spent the morning sitting on shore uh, waiting for a uh, rainstorm to come through the St. Pete area, uh, which it did. And we went out racing uh, sometime late in the morning uh, for a start uh, very close to, to um, 1 o'clock. Um, we had uh, one rather unique race. Uh, it started out to be a uh, uh, windward lured twice around and the final lured leg turned in to be the upwind finish so uh, it started out to be a, a, a northeasterly breeze and it turned in to be a southerly breeze by the time the race ended so it was rather unique uh, Steve Lavender ended up with a first place today and uh, second place it turned out to be Greg Fisher and uh, the first uh, three people in first three places in the regatta are Greg Fisher as first again uh, Paul Abdullah as second, and third place is Robbie Brown. Uh, if you could recap for us um, what happened yesterday on the race course on Tuesday. Um, I know it was a little bit squirrely, a little bit strange as far as wind goes. Yeah, it was a tough day, but first, Craig wanted me to mention what the weather's like here today, and it's going to be like a solid 80 degrees, We're worried about getting sunburns, it's really terrible. and. Uh, I'm sure it's like that everywhere, but we're having a great time here. <laughs> but uh, yesterday was a tough day. It was um, <clears throat> it was light again, you know, probably blowing five to eight maybe at the most, and um, the breeze was out of a direction that it's one of those it's never like this here type of things. And um, we thought for some reason, and I can't tell you why at this particular moment, that the breeze might go right, and uh, and it went left and um, we were very lucky that we were able to work back to the left halfway up the first beat and get kind of back up into the top 12 or so and um, there Wait, were a lot what of, did you see that made you go left well we just thought there was going to be more wind over there we thought I think we overthought it a bit we kind of thought um, you know as we, we sailed a race here once before where it's that direction and, um, and and the breeze went right and we so we thought that would be um, a smart way to do it so that's the danger of having a memory you know so I think what we should have done has been a little bit farther down the line because we started up near the committee boat we should have been more near the middle and a little more conservative but fortunately we were able to work out of it and get to the left but there were a bunch of boats that came out of the left side in really good shape and, uh, and they sailed a really good race uh, Craig Koshak, uh, Robbie Brown, um, John Lovett you know some of these these boats were near the pin or a third of the way up and tacked right away in this lift and looked really good. But then as the race wore on, it got lighter <clears throat> and it got a little tougher. It didn't get really that shifty necessarily. I mean, it was shifting back and forth 30 degrees or so, but it just got really light. And uh, the last leg especially, the last down one leg got tough because it finally pooped out all together and the sea breeze started to come in, which means that the land was heating up and trying to pull it in and it turned the breeze about 90 degrees so we were instead of finishing downwind because they shortened the course and finished us, finish us between the gates which is something to remember if you're approaching a couple gates and they shorten the course that you finish between the gates because there were a couple committee boats a couple gates and we had quite a discussion on our boat where we're going to go to finish <laughs> fortunately we were second behind steve lavender so he could figure it out <laughs> But he sailed a really nice race all the way around, and uh, and what Steve did that was really impressive is he kind of stayed right near the middle, played the shifts right up the middle, kind of stayed between us and the rest of the fleet in the mark, and did a really neat job. Great. And who, uh, who, what are the finished places so far in the in the standing? Um, we're fortunate enough to be first. Um, Paul Abdullah sailed a nice race as well. He was, I think, he finished fifth or sixth in that race, so he's second. Um, 
Robbie Brown? Robbie Brown is third, right? Robbie sailed a nice race too, and he was third in that race. Actually, he was leading for part of it, and he sailed a real nice race. And uh, so it's a good tight group. There's still a whole lot of racing left. And did we say the temperature's 80 degrees and it's sunny? I think we did, but good, good. anyway, yeah. it's great here, and I wish you guys come down next time. Yeah, great. Hello fellow Thistlers, here I am down in St. Pete, unfortunately this does not go well in a thistle. Uh, two weeks ago I was uh, snow skiing going down a diamond hill and a snowboarder came out of nowhere going as fast as my girlfriend has ever seen anybody on a, on a board and plowed into the back of me. No broken bones, thank goodness, but my good old girdle region is a little bit inflamed and sore and cold and all, and um, fortunately I'm not able to really walk at this point, but I'm taking some steps and I'm hopefully going to be back in, in tip-top shape very soon. So again, thanks for all your concerns and have a great day, and it's beautiful here in sunny Florida, so that's a good part and a good place to recover.